these curls. Vum, 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 vum. Add some volume. Ah. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing a, another slow hair wig from AliExpress. I decided that I really liked the last wig that I had, the Bob wig. I will post the link to that video down below in the description box for you guys to go and check it out. I was so impressed with that wig that I decided that I was going to purchase another one from Slow Hair Company. This one is a curly 18 inch wig. I decided I was going to go longer. I know I said I was going to go shorter. However, I saw this wig and fell in love with it. So I decided I would order this one. It took, again, about three or four days to arrive to the UK, which is pretty fast delivery. Before I get into the bits on the wig, I will show you what I got in the box. This is what the box looks like. Inside the box, there's the plastic bag which the hair comes in, some bendy rubs which I believe I got in the last box, and some more wig caps. This time the box had quite a nice design on it. Last time it just came in this plain cardboard box. They've obviously made a bit more of an effort with their packaging, which is always good to see. Like I said, this wig is 18 inches. It's a curly wig, if you can see that. Yeah. When I first received the wig, I didn't like the curl pattern and I honestly thought that I wasn't going to like the wig at all. In fact, I hated it. <laughs> However, I washed it and then I plucked the frontal a little bit across my hairline so it wasn't so thick and so wiggy, although yes, I know I'm wearing a wig. And then I styled it and I love it. I do love it. This one washes beautifully. I will say that it it's just like it loves water. So yeah, I washed it, I waited for it to dry, and then I installed it. I used the Got To Be Glue gel and the Got To Be Glue spray. I've had this wig in for about five days now. There has been a little bit of tangling and there has also been a little bit of shedding. In terms of the tangling, I don't know if that's just because it's a curly wig, but as you can see, it's it's not hard to get your hands through at all. Your hands still go through it, so that's always a good sign. The shedding is, mm, I'd say on a scale of one to 10 for shedding, I'd probably say, I'd rate this about a five. So it's not as bad as others, but it could be better. Like I said, I went for this wig because I was so impressed with the quality of the last wig. The quality of this wig isn't as good as the first one, However, I am still happy with it. I probably wouldn't wear this wig as long as I wore the bob wig. The wig cap comes, I'd probably say medium. It comes with the tightening clips in it. This wig has got four clips in it. It's got two on the side, one on the front, and then one in the back. I have actually put a band, an elastic band in the hair, which I will show you in another video at a later date how to do that. That just makes it a little extra secure. It also allows you to wear the wig without putting any got to be glue gel in it or any glue in it whatsoever. It's really quite secure. So yeah, I've done that just because when I do decide to take this wig off, it might be one of those wigs that I just wanna throw on on occasion and not put any glue or gel in it to secure it. So yeah, just a temporary thing. The lace in the hair I would say is a light brown. You don't get to choose the wig cap size. You also don't get to choose the lace color. In this hair however for me I've been quite lucky it matches my skin again I will post the link to this hair down below the only product I have in this hair today is the Tresemme heat protector spray just simply because I'm going to straighten it this evening because I want to see how it looks straight I will post a video once I've straightened it so you can see what it's like in its straight state and whether or not it straightens nicely or not. It's always nice to have a versatile wig that you can wear straight or wear curly. So yeah, 
I'm quite impressed with this wig so far, luckily, considering I didn't like it when I first received it. I will also do a final review on this wig so you can see what it's like after a couple of weeks. But yeah, like I said, so far, I'm impressed. It's not too bad. Also with this wig, what I like about it is I can wet it and then just go about my day and leave my curls as they are and it's great. And I can also, if I want to fluff it up a bit, I can make it a bit bigger by putting my hands through it and then we've got a bigger wig. Yes, we've got a bigger wig. Oh, I mean, I like big hair. I like curly hair. I've never been a massive person to have it on myself in terms of the bigness, but it is definitely growing on me. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. So guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with a final hair review for this wig. I will be posting all of the links down below in the description box and if you've got any questions then feel free to get in contact. I will see you later.